The other thing worth pointing out right here is blackberries. So blackberries, obviously the berries are edible, but the leaves on blackberries are also edible. And in fact, they're really good for things like dysentery, for fungus stuff. They have antibacterial properties. If you're ever traveling, for example, and you run into stomach issues, you can eat charcoal, but you can also eat blackberries, raspberries, thimbleberries. Those leaves will help settle your stomach. How would you eat them? So how would you eat them? Good question. So right here, check it out. Another lesson in Mary stems. So everybody try and, and kind of get close. And you can see that some, as the plant matures, the thorns get really stiff and hard. But then if you look at the top part, you see that it's lighter green. That's the meristematic part of the blackberry. And now very carefully just feel the thorns and notice how they're not quite developed yet. So you can go through with a little knife and peel the thorns and eat the little stems of the blackberry. And that's kind of more like your little wild asparagus. Or you can take the young leaves, which are pretty much thornless, use those in a salad. Or if you boil them down, the thorns become completely not an issue. They just go away. The best way that I've found to use them is you just dry these leaves, crush them up, throw them in tea, and then uh, take a little bit with you when you go travel internationally. And now you know that this stuff will help settle your stomach. Now the one caution about your blackberries and raspberries is you don't want to eat the leaves when they're wilting. So you want to eat them fresh or you want to fully dry them because in the wilting process they start releasing like more alkaloids or something and it, it can sometimes have the opposite effect. But if you eat them fresh like within an hour of harvesting or fully dry completely no problem. All blackberries and raspberries are in the rose family. Roses, apples, blackberries are in the same family and a lot of those relatives are edible and delicious. By the way, wild roses are delicious in salads, just the petals themselves. And, um, you know, since in Washington you have a lot of them and they grow like weeds, eat the weeds.